This is JJ and I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to summarize a 100 page PDF using only the free version of ChatGPT. I'll also teach you how to validate whether ChatGPT is actually reading your PDF and also talk about some limitations for these tools. So go to chatgpt.com and you'll see some interface like this. So make sure to go and create your account first so that you can only use all these different functions. Yeah, if you want a basic introduction of ChatGPT, I have a video on that, so make sure to watch that if you are totally new to ChatGPT. But otherwise, just click on Explore GPTs, and then you will see this different custom um, ChatGPT that the community has built. Clearly, this AI PDF drive is what we're going to use today. It has been featured by OpenAI, but if you do not have it, you just search AI PDF drive. As you can see, you just it's just this one. You click on it and you can read the reviews and see um, some of the example prompts. So let's just get started with this. All right, so this is the PDF we are going to summarize or read. So it is currently 175 pages, so you can read more than 100 pages actually. It is actually just depending on the words, the amount of information you can remember. So I believe this one is not that dense of words. So yeah, 100 pages, as long as it's um, not just full of words, it should be fine. So for now, it can't read graphics unless you specify it to do that. but it mainly just reading the text that it has in this PDF. As you can see, this is a robotic arm user manual from the Orbo company. Um, I want it to summarize this document for me so that I do not need to read it and also query the document to find the information I need. First of all, we should hover to this small little icon here called Attach Files. It's like a pin, so just click on it here. And then depending where your files is, mine is just in my local hard drive. So I'm going to upload from computer and search for the file. So you can see I'm going to open up this file. It's, it's going to take some time to um, upload it depending on the file size. Then I'm going to just ask it to summarize to see whether it can read the full document. So I usually just start off by asking you to summarize to see whether it can actually read everything. As you can see, it needs you to sign in to this website. So this is an external website which connects to ChatGPT so then you can access it. So easily just sign in. It's just going to connect to ChatGPT. So once you sign up for account, it will prompt you um, to ask whether it trusts. So, so right now, as you can see, it only covers 31 pages and there's 175 pages in it. So at least it the reason I want you to prompt, can you please summarize the key points in this PDF, is to understand where, um, how much that does the AI PDF knows and what is the limit to this um, chatbot. And the good thing is that it can continue to read if you need the information. So for example, if I go to my PDF here, for example, I want to know how to power on the robotic system. So as you can see, these are the instructions in 9.3.2, power on the control box. So I want it to find this information and tell it to me. And then I'll just have to say, Okay, so looks like it's summarizing. So you need to always check the information to see whether it is actually right. So powering on the control box, plug in, turn on power, power on the page pendant. Okay, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty good. Yeah, it summarizes in a different way than the, the, the PDF, but overall, it shows you the steps, which is good. And you can see that it also shows you which page is it. Page 80, for example. I don't think I can click on this, but it says page 80. And if you see the power on the robotic system, it is also at page 80. So it is able to find the information where it is correctly. So. Yeah, the English is pretty good. Okay, now let's check whether the um, chatbot is able to get information outside of 100 pages. So here we are in 
131 page. So we are going to ask it about the type of movements that the robot can move. So, so it needs to have like move joint and then move line, all this kind of information. So yeah, let's ask it about the movements. <laughs> summarizes uh, its description, what kind of use cases it can go, some of the technical things that we should know to control it, and also move line, page 133, move track at page 134. So move track, page 134, which is slightly off. So as you can see, it's a bit slightly off, that move track should be in page 133, but it says page 134, so slightly off. And also you need to notice that there's actually more movements you can do, such as arc, circular, move P, and B spline. So it didn't say that, you know, it says three of them. So I didn't specify the prom more accurately, so I think I should say all of the movements that the robot can follow, so that it can tell me all of them. So if you want all of the movements, you just click on this edit message so that you can change your prompt. All of the movements that are working for and Okay, so this one, hopefully it is able to list out all of it, including the spleen types. Okay, so move track and as you can see, it lists out RC move P and B spline as well. So that's good. If you like to also create a PowerPoint, you also can do that from this PDF, but it's just going to be a really simple PowerPoint. Okay, you can actually keep changing this prompt, make it specific, what kind of information you would like it to have, or you can just ask it immediately to see what it gives, gives us. So within this chat GPT, it can create slides, but it's really limited. So it needs to connect to this another website so that it can get all the full functionality to display within chat GPT. So as you can see, it's created tenant that explains the use cases of the PowerPoint from non-technical. So I need to view the full PowerPoint presentation. Right now it's just a single page. So I need to click to view the PowerPoint presentation and it gives, it, it links me back to, uh, it, it links me to a, its website where it, you, it does all the PowerPoint slides. It did not do it within ChatGPT. It links to an external website and do does all the uh, ChatGPT, um, all the PowerPoint slide presentation for us. So as you can see, this is what it came up with. So this is a really basic PowerPoint presentation. Of course, you still need to change a lot of it. You need to edit it. So the second method is you can just go to my AI Drive website to chat using um, your PDF. So you can just click a chat here. And then first of all, you can just upload it and then just click on chat. And you can also change the models as you can see. Right now, we only have a free version, so Gemini 1.5 Flash. And then others, you need to pay for it. So, and there's a credits per page limit. So this, I think we have like um, 0 0.01 for one page. So 100 pages, you're going to use one credit. If you click, if you click here, credit usage, so free, we have 2000 credits a month. So I've already used up 1.76 depending on the page count. So you have 2000 credits per month, um, which means you can read 2000 pages um, every single month until you need to pay using $12 per month. Kind of expensive, not gonna lie. But yeah, you have 20,000 credits per month if you want that. Mm, and you can access all the different AI models, which is much smarter than just Google Gemini. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just in general trying to save some time, this tool is so useful and you'll find it using a lot if you are in certain areas. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want more AI productivity hacks. And make sure to check out my Patreon for early access and ad-free content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.